Alright guys, this is NanothalMC here, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Survival Minecraft with me, NanothalMC. And here we are in the storage room. Uh, I've augmented the uh, center, I don't know, crafting station just a little bit. Um, before, it had these furnaces and these furnaces, but now I've just put crafting tables on all four corners because I was sick of being over here and needing some smooth stone, so I'd grab my stone, or not smooth stone. I can do that here. Uh, something like an iron sword for uh, the skeleton farm. So I would grab my iron, uh, grab my sticks, and then I'd have to go all the way up to here and click the crafting table that was down here. But now I can just run to here and craft it. So those are nice. Uh, just makes it a little more efficient around here. Um, what else? Uh, got this jukebox, um, and also I got a uh, weight um, from uh, a skeleton killing a creeper. I, I, whenever I see the two, I always try for a record just because I'm trying to get stall. This is my favorite record. I always seem to get it pretty quick, but it wasn't my first one this time, so that's okay. Um, so if you don't know how that works, um, oh, and here, here's a little dock. Um, I'll talk about this in a second. Um, if you don't know how to get a record, you you um, basically what I do is I if you see a skeleton and a creeper next to each other, uh, basically you weaken the the creeper as much as you can until they have like one or two hearts left. If you want to count, but I mean they don't ha you don't have to weaken them, but it's a lot easier to to get a record. And what you do is you line yourself up so the creeper won't explode, but the skeleton is shooting at you. But you you um, so like this, pretend the skeleton is this dirt block. Uh, and the creeper is this boat. You get the skeleton shooting you, and then you come stand here in between this, uh, in between. Well, no, you get the creeper in between you and the skeleton, and then you make sure the skeleton is shooting at you still. And it, and then when the arrows from the skeleton hit the creeper, uh, and kill it, it will drop a random record. Uh, so yeah, that's how I got that one, and that's how you get all of them. <laughs> and it takes a while to get all of them. There's like. 15 or something crazy like that. There's a lot. Uh, I was going to change this actually. These are just simple little docks that I made um, just to make it easier to use this boat to travel back and forth from the skeleton farm. Um, all it is is just some raised edges and then uh, a little platform down here. So you drive your boat in, you disembark. Oh crap. <laughs> And sometimes that happens, and that's when that's the worst thing that can happen. It just shoots off back out there. So what you want to try to do is like um, get going at a good enough speed where it'll where you jump where when you jump out it keeps going, but not a good uh, not a big enough not a fast enough speed big enough speed not a fast enough speed that it'll it'll uh, collide with this and uh, explode into sticks and planks. So that's only over there. So that's not bad. I'll just go get that. And then I just have the same thing over on this side. And I did quite a bit of work on the skeleton farm, guys. You will be proud of me. Um, I got the entrance all worked out. As you can see, it's over here now. So you gotta get going, and you, and then when you hop out, you gotta press back. So you, so you hit the back side of the boat and launch it forward instead of backward. Um, so we're over here now. Here's the little cave entrance that I have. Um, Compared to the uh, old, um, got to swim all the way over there, climb up a weird dirt path, climb a awkward staircase, and and then jump down a huge ladder. I figured why not just make it closer to this and at sea level. Plus, if I go down here, got a lot of glowstone and lime glass. Uh, go down here, you will notice that we're right here. Um, this right here is the old way to get up if if you uh, need your bearings back I guess um, so yeah that's where the ladder was took the ladder out actually um, and then just walled that up um, so yeah this is where that water infinite water source I just dug up here and then dug that way a little bit because I knew there was an island up there and I wanted to come out in an island so that worked out perfectly because I came out right on the edge of that island so that worked out really nice um, I replaced the stone in here with all glass. I thought I made it look pretty. I, I thought I made it look cooler. Um, I'm not for sure if I showed you this yet. Uh, this is just some diorite with some jungle leaves, and then I got some more pot lights up there. 
Got some vines growing down. Uh, I did a lot of stuff with this. I uh, got my anvil on my feet there. Uh, so I can do a bunch of book enchants when I get books, but I don't have any books. Um, got some stuff for swords when I get iron. I mean, obviously I'm going to want to use this. Oh, and I added more sharpness to this too, by the way. And I made that efficiency 5. And I combined those picks, <laughs> if you haven't seen that. Um, so yeah, get a lot of XP here, and I just use iron swords, because uh, I got plenty of iron. Actually, I got plenty of diamonds too, but oh well. Uh, this is basically the fruits of my labor so far. Uh, lots of efficiency books, but I had I had way more, but they went into these two. Uh, some protection, lots of protection books. Um, that's a lot of protection right there. I mean, maybe not. It's not even a protection five, but it's at least one protection four, two protection three, obviously. So uh, we're working on that, getting some more of that. It's a lot of power there when I get a, when I decide to do my bow. That's a power four bow right there. Um, some projectile protection, that was just because I had no other option when I was doing a book. Uh, feather falling two, that was combined. Sharpness one, sharpness three, sharpness three, sharpness three. Tons and tons of sharpness on that. So actually, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's combine these. Um, and then we got our little enchanting station over here, kind of hidden behind the vines. I kind of like how this looks. Um, more diorite and, um, you know, kind of like little potted plants little jungle leaves um chanting station i moved from that way really annoying spot to get to way up there um so yeah um <laughs> um i actually have to answer this text message i will be right back sorry about that guys um i don't have any smooth stone to fix that and that's gonna bother me Ugh, okay anyways <laughs> uh we're gonna ch combine some sharpness books Ooh, that's gonna cost nine Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to add it, I don't think. No, that's going to cost 19 to make a sharpness 5. Oh, well, let's add 12 attack. Oh, it adds a point and a quarter. It's, you know, <laughs> uh, just like in my uh, Attack of the B Team series, um, I mean, it's a whole one and a quarter more attack hearts or whatever, but... Um, it doesn't matter because mobs generally have 20 health and it's going to take two hits with it no matter what, even if it's a po point and a half better. Uh, the only reason I could see that being helpful is against Withers and the Ender Dragon. So why, why, does, why not? I mean, why not? <laughs> All right, so we got a good chunk of skeletons here. Let's just, I mean, obviously you've seen mob farms before. You just swing away at their feet. Uh, there's gets t there gets to be tons of arrows stuck in this it's kind of funny um, when, when I plug it all up kind of it's kind of cool after you know after like an hour of sitting AFKing here while I go eat lunch or something just standing right here and then letting all the arrows pile up and then just doing that yeah there watch this oh I didn't make the noise <laughs> but that's got oh, that's kind of cool all right so let's this back before more skeletons jump down. Wrong spot. My mouse has been extra extra sensitive lately. It's kind of weird. Um, so what else have I done? Um, I want to go exploring today, actually. Um, so what I was going to do... Um, so basically, I've shown you all this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's lit up well enough. I'm not not really sure yet. We'll, we'll see. Um, but uh, this is all stone brick. Uh, okay, so back to the build theme. Um, the floor, as you can see, throughout the whole thing is cobblestone, and then the walls are all smooth stone, and then the roof is all smooth stone also, um, except for in here, because <laughs> this is the floor of this. Yeah, <laughs> so that's the only uh, exception, but, you know, who cares? You didn't notice. You didn't notice until I told you. <laughs> Um, also, any area, I, I, I kind of thought this was cool, any area that has skeletons in it, um, like this, this is the, um, that's the spawn room, obviously. Um, oh, crap, <laughs> I just lost the stone brick down there. Uh, I don't have any stone to fix it, uh, or stone brick. Um, anyways, so anywhere with stone brick is a skeleton area, as you can see, 
there are skeletons here. So I've got stone brick encasing it. Um, and I had to take the window out, I think, because it was the light was uh, that was going through was decreasing the spawn rates. I mean, it wasn't that cool anyway. It's just watching them appear and then fall down. So seal that off. Doesn't matter. You can see them float up. That's the point of this glass. And then you can see them fall. That's the point of this spot. So moving on. Um, this is the only part of this hallway that bugs me right here. This light isn't centered. But if I did center it, then this would be an awkward transition to this one. So not really sure what to do there. Maybe I'll just move it over. But uh, I left my silk touch pickaxe at home. So we'll do that later. Going on back up. Get my boat out. I've wasted so many boats <laughs> before I built these docks. It makes it so much easier when you have the docks. Uh, what's in there? A little poppy. Okay. Let's take a boat. Back to the mainland. Am I having sound? Do I have sounds? It's really quiet sounds. Isn't there usually a boat sound? Hmm. Coming in too hot. Yep. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> They're very finicky. Uh, you got to really find that point right in between where they will break on impact and where they won't uh, fly back. You know. Oh crap! I forgot to drop off all my all my crappy uh, bows. Oh well. I just have a bow, right? I just do this when I have bows, and I just throw them away because I'm never ever gonna use all those bows. Um, let's see, where did I put my arrows? <laughs> Some of these items, I can't remember if I chose white for the color or brown for the color, but I know uh, bones go in there because there's bone on them. You know, let's just take a stack and a half of arrows. That's fine. We're going on an adventure. Um, let's drop off our swords. I probably should have left those there too. Oh boy, I'm prepared today. So we got blocks, bucket of water. I probably won't need my axe. Ooh. <laughs> so I converted all my blocks into regular diamonds, and it looks much, much cooler. I, I had like nine blocks and like eight or nine diamonds sitting on the side. Um, but once I converted them to just diamonds, it, it, I think it looks much cooler. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'll just put that in there for now. Did I do anything to that? I didn't add any efficiency. That's still four. Um, I think we're going to run with di or iron armor. I don't want to make all that armor and lose it. Um, as I say that, I'm going out there with my awesome sword, my amazing pick and shovel. But you know what? Do I want to do that? <laughs> Oh, you know what? I can do. I can make an ender chest. Ender chest. Ah, oh, yes. I have one. Actually, I have two ender eyes, but one's, one's being used there. And I have some blaze powder. Awesome. And I have tons of obsidian. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Put that guy there. Make our first eye of ender. Um, and speaking of eyes of ender... I'm um, not really sh quite sure when I want to do the uh, end yet. I think we're going to wait a while. Don't need to rush it. No, what am I doing? <laughs> I do need to use this other one. I need to make two. Duh. Yeah, okay. So, grab this other blaze powder. Make it up. Obsidian. And here we go. There you go. All right. Um, so the original idea for this spot in the middle here was to put an ender chest, but um, I think what would be cool is since the ender chest is blueish, I think we could do something like this. Have it kind of over in the blue section. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know. Or maybe, you know what, actually, oh crap, where's my silk touch pickaxe? There it is. Silky smooth. Since, it's give, since it gives off purple particle, part, part little, part little particle effects, I think I'm just going to put it over um, in the purple section. Uh, should we do it in the like with the obsidian? Yeah, let's do that because it's kind of obsidian. Yeah, it's made of obsidian. So let's just do this. Uh, let's just take that all out. 
and put it in the top only right oh no that's gonna destroy it all so if I go like this jeez, these item frames are still quite a bit buggy and I destroy this one I shouldn't get an explosion of obsidian Ah, uh, there, yep, yeah, I, I was wrong. <laughs> okay. And we just pop it in there. That looks pretty cool. There we go. That just fits in right nicely. All right, so let's pop these guys in there. Um, yeah. So I need to keep that with us. Pop that guy in there. Um, let's actually throw some food in there. Uh, and then we can just run with that that and i guess we'll make another pick one of those there we go let's just make two more what are we doing for iron uh, armor iron is iron iron armor, armor, armor is good um let's grab some sticks got some we need some more though okay Bam, bam. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get prepared for this quest. This is kind of boring. Uh, I'm going to get prepared for this quest, and I will meet you guys when I'm ready to go. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So uh, what I did was I made a bunch of boats. I made a crafting table, gave myself some wood, uh, made some more torches. 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 Uh, I gave myself a bunch of dirt just because um, I know I'm going to need lots of dirt uh, to... To, you know climb up a mountain like this because we're in amplified terrain remember so everything is really annoying to traverse without ender pearls and i have no ender pearls. it's actually annoying with ender pearls but i have no ender pearls um so what i was thinking was we could go this way um <laughs> i made plenty of bolts because i know i'm just gonna wreck them right away um so yeah and i got some wood i told you that so here we are, uh, off on our little adventure, hopefully finding some new biomes with some new blocks. Um, we might have already run into our first... Oh my god, these boats are terrible. I don't like how they control. <laughs> uh, I'm getting used to them, but <laughs> I don't like them. Alright. And they... God dang it. <laughs> I was literally saying, and they break too easy. <laughs> Come on, get me out of there. Just give me some dirt on the hot bar. Alright, on foot now. We're legging it. Legging it. Um, hmm. Hello, hole in the ground. Alright, um, so news about the channel. Um, let's see, uh, that creative episode I tweeted about yesterday, or that episode I tweeted about yesterday, um, well, not yesterday, it, it's yesterday right now, but by the time you guys see this episode, whew, it'll be down the road, because this is, a. Uh, have already recorded an episode of this, so this was probably a long, long time ago, <laughs> um, but that'll be coming out soon, <laughs> not that you guys care, but um, cause that was a long time ago. I don't even know what I'm talking about it. Um, so anyways, um, hopefully by the time this episode comes out, uh, I will be a part of a server. Um, one of my subscribers, um, has contacted me about, uh, maybe starting a vanilla server. Um, that me and him and some other um, not so famous YouTubers will be playing in. Uh, we just need, you know, some help finding some. And uh, I think he needs some help setting up the server. I'm not really sure about anything yet, so don't don't quote me on this. Hello. Here we go. Here's our chance. We're going to try it. Weaken the creeper. Not the skeleton. Okay. Easy. This is gonna be easy. There's two skeletons. Come on, hit them. Oh no, no! Oh dang it! I got stuck on a dirt block. God dang it! Oh, anyways, uh, so yeah, the server hopefully coming in the near future. Not really sure. Uh, man, we are in a 
Holy crap, this is a big cave. Um, <laughs> lots of distractions. So yeah, server coming in the near future, hopefully. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. Sorry, I, I can't light it up. I mean, we're in a, we're underground and there's no way I'm getting up there to light it up. Uh, there we go. Night light. Because it's not daylight. This is nice. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like anything new. Uh, here's an ocean is what it seems. Hello pig. Goodbye pig. Oh, he lived. Wow, he must have one hit, one heart left. Making a leap of faith. Darn trees. Forests are the most annoying biome to get through. Even in Amplified. There we go. <laughs> Not making it look pretty, just making it accessible. All right, so we gotta go down here. I know I'm gonna fall. Right, I'm gonna fall, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I got nothing important on me. The ender chest was expensive, but I can find an enderman. Actually, you know what? I never see endermen around here, it's crazy. Uh, it's gonna be tough getting enough ender eyes to find the end portal. All right, so um, this is what I was expecting, a big old ocean. I am going to set sail, and I will see you guys when I find something. <laughs> see you then. Oh, my gosh, guys. Just look what I found. I saw it in the distance. We are, that is, uh, oh, that is where we sailed from, I think. But look at this. Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's a uh, underwater temple thingy that I am never going to be able to beat until I have water breathing potions, but look at it! We have one, and I'm going to... Oh, there it is! Oh, I was waiting for it. Oh, And now I have the mining fatigue. Great. Crap. <laughs> so I'm going to take a picture of the coordinates. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to break this stuff now we can try I just want a sea lantern one I just want one oh crap nope oh gotta break the line of sight these guys are crazy I'm just gonna pile a crap ton of dirt around me hopefully this will work Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this is like breaking obsidian with the fist. <sighs> yeah. So. I uh, don't think I'm going to be doing this. Uh, maybe maybe I will soldier through this just to get one sea lantern. I really want... I really want one. I really, really want one. Oh, this is going to take forever. Uh, the only way to get rid of the mining fatigue is to kill the, uh, the bosses. I think there are three bosses that you saw, you know, flash across my screen there. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are coming down in this middle spot right here, so we're gonna need to make that. Uh I'm gonna have to curl out one Oh crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Breathe We gotta clear out like four of these things. Oof. I haven't even seen a guardian, they're just screwing around the outside or something. Uh I'm gonna have to clear out like four of these dirt blocks. One, two. I've already cleared out one. There's two, three, four, probably five. Okay, so I will sit here and dig down for a while now, and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, here we are. Um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, here we are in. Uh, I found an island. Um, the temple is just that way. Um, 
and I was swimming around and trying to uh, dodge those uh, guys and um, <laughs> uh, there, there's like a error like a chunk error I don't know part of the temple got cut off so I don't know what that's gonna mean um, obviously I got less of that prismarine blocks but less of those prismarine blocks but yeah anyways so um, but those obviously there was a boss there because he was flashing around so I, I can still get sponges and, and whatnot um, so yeah we'll do that in the distant distant future uh, but here we are I found an island with some pods all on it uh, and so um, we can put our uh, chest down grab our silk touch pick and grab some of this I'm only gonna grab 10 or so because uh, I can just make it at home it's a lot easier Seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and I got, I actually mined out, uh, I think, two sea lanterns. So I got enough to make one. Um, because when you break them, I didn't have my silk touch picks. So when you, I, I mined enough to break, when you break them, you get like the, the prismine shards and whatnot. Um, but, so yeah, I got enough, I mined enough lanterns to make one lantern. <laughs> So I can just have it and covet it. It took me so, so long. I might as well just take a lot. So, 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 so long to get that. Oh my gosh, you didn't even understand. And I'm going to have to take my uh, silk touch pick with me because that's the only way I can take my end chest with me. Um, it took me so long to get through all that dirt to get through to the lanterns. <laughs> Whew. Oh, anyways. Uh, so we're in this humongous, uh, what is it? Tundra? Taiga. Taiga hails. Uh, oh, car's dirt. Awesome. It's easy to make, but might as well just grab some. Uh, if you didn't know, this is, I think this is just dirt and gravel mixed together. Um, and grass doesn't grow on it. And uh, if you, I think the new feature of it is if you till it, with a hoe, oh my gosh, with a hoe, um, it turns back into normal dirt, I think. And then that, yeah. So if you tell it, it turns back into normal dirt. It doesn't become farmland or anything. Um, so this isn't an island. <laughs> it's a humongous place. Uh, big beaches, random mossy. Um, and we are almost out of time. So I think I'm just going to keep on exploring. And next episode, if I find anything cool... I will include that. So see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.